Hey guys, it's Chef Barry again. So, we are gonna make a really cool version of a jalapeno popper. It's called an armadillo egg, which is basically a whole jalapeno cut in half with some cheese filling on the inside, close the jalapeno halves back together to make a whole jalapeno, wrap that whole thing in some form of pork, whether it's sausage, or just ground pork or dry rub and then you smoke them so that's what we got a uh, planned for today for everybody so uh it's my cheat day i'm gonna make a not so healthy something to eat but it's gonna be so worth it so the first thing we're gonna do for our armadillo eggs is wash the jalapeno poppers um, we got about 16 i think uh, i don't remember but we're gonna wash these, let these dry a little bit and make our cream cheese filling for this. So while those dries, we'll get to cream cheese. In. For our uh, cream cheese mix, we have one eight ounce little block of cream cheese and then also a eight ounce bag of shredded triple pepper jack cheese it's jalapeno habanero and ghost pepper pepper jack so hopefully it'll give a nice little kick so we're gonna get this to blend up until it is <laughs> so one thing when you pick out your peppers or whether you're making jalapeno poppers or armadillo eggs or flaming atomic buffalo turds, which will be a whole nother video, a whole nother day. I always try to pick out relatively straight, not so curvy peppers because it helps with what we are trying to do right now for making these perfect little vessels that open and close that help hold our cheese in better. Um, when they're curved, they tend to break if you're not as careful. So with that being said, you want to have straight peppers. Well, the straighter the better. And also if they're all relatively closely the same size, it'll help with using the same amount of meat mix on each one. And also just having the same size of stuff. So that being said, I'm going to show you how to do these. I'm going to get these done super quick and wrap them in meat and smoke them up. So, right now, we're going to get these peppers out. I'm going to move them all out of the way. I got Flash in your pan. Tuesday night hangout on in the background. So, if you guys recognize any of those guys, uh, subscribe to them. Check them out. So, we got our pepper. If there is a little bit of a bigger hump on one side, try to do that on your top side. Cut off just the end of the pepper so that way it still kind of keeps a cap on one side you want to cut straight through to where you can start to open it and then do a little bit on the back side so that way it gives it a little bit more give and then with a spoon or whatever go to the base of the pepper you kind of see it right there that way it kind of helps hold all your cheese in and use your spoon and scoop out all the guts. Some people don't like the guts. I like the guts, but I'm not so sure about my friends. I don't want to hurt them at work. If we were at the house drinking beers, I'd probably make them suffer a little bit. But anyway, you can see how the pepper is opened and closing. So let's say it's one whole piece still. So that's what we're gonna do, and uh, get all these going, and listen to the Tuesday night live hangout with uh, the Flash fam. So we're gonna get these going, and meet back with you in a sec.
so we got all our uh, jalapenos in. So we're gonna do something kind of chefy with your, these jalapeno poppers. We're gonna make these things called canals. I believe is how it's said. Anyway, you get two spoons, the same size, and you get a, a paste or a puree, not puree, but something. And you do that, and it forms these little shapes. These coincidentally happen to be about the same size of our jalapenos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some cheddar cheese blocks on the inside, put that on the inside of our jalapenos, like so. And that is gonna be the filling what we got going on on the inside of it. So it'll be kind of like an egg with like the yolk and the white. I thought it'd be kind of quaint to do that. So I'm gonna get to doing all these and uh, show you how to do the meat in a minute. So once you get your pepper stuffed with your cheese, you wanna wrap them in some form uh, your pork. We have our pork mix here. It looks pretty good. Um, you want to try to do the same amount of pork on all of them. So what I'm going to do is I got a half sheet tray, baking dish sheet tray. I put some foil on it. And I'm just going to hit it with a quick a little thing of cooking spray and put my pork mix in there. I kind of divide it, spread it out so it fills up the whole thing. And then divide it into even little sections. That way, I have the same amount of pork on all of them. And that way, we cook even, taste the same, all that stuff. So, this is about spread out half, 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 quarter, quarter, quarter. We're at 16, we have 18, but. If we need to kind of like adjust a little bit, we could do that and improvise some. So we're gonna start wrapping these up. So we got our portion of meat. We're gonna make kind of like a patty and then just wrap this jalapeno popper up. You might not be able to do all these. Um, I think we're gonna probably not have enough meat because I barely got this one done. And that was the first one, so we're gonna do that. And that is what an armadillo looks like, an armadillo egg. That's what they are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to one of my favorite cooking things for barbecue, which is my co cooking, cookie cooling grates. And just set that on there and just keep doing these and plug along. All right, so we have our uh, smoker set at 250. We're gonna throw these bad boys on. We have our tray with two. Couldn't quite make it all onto one, but that's all right. We'll probably move these around so this fits in here better. So with our armadillo eggs, we're gonna have some flipping chicken. My very own original chicken dry rub recipe. If you look close enough, there's the ingredients. I'll let you look for a second. But the proportions is what makes it magic. So that's the secret right there. So when I do my chicken or any meat for that fact, I always do a super thin little bit of yellow mustard. Helps the dry rub stick, helps your bark develop you can't really taste it so much it's just kind of like a little secret thing that if you don't know it's there you generally 
can't tell unless you're the one doing it. And then just a decent dust of my flipping chicken rub. In my giveaway that I'm wanting to do, but I haven't got enough subscribers yet. I'm trying to get 100 subscribers to do a little giveaway. I'm um, thinking of doing my dry rub sample pack, which is my pork rub, which I've sold to a couple people because they had some ribs I did with it and just loved it that much. My secret brisket rub, and then flipping chicken rub. I got labels for all of them for one day when I have investors trying to invest in me for my own company to do like demos and stuff. I just thought it'd be cool to make it so I could give it to gifts to some people. Um, the very first person who got a full set was my cousin Sean for his birthday last year. He really liked all of it. So I have more labels. I just don't give them away because they're not very cheap, but they look really cool. So anyway, that's how much dry rub goes on the chicken. Enough to cover the yellow of the mustard and to just get flavor down on our chicken. Also, I use a rack for this. It's just easier to pick up one big old cookie rack like this instead of eight chicken thighs. It's just easier to help keep your grill or smoker cleaner also. So we're gonna put these on the smoker and they should be done around the same time as those uh, Armadillo eggs, we'll see, but uh, we're gonna get these smoking with some hickory. Well, it's been about 45 minutes to an hour. I haven't opened this yet to look, but this is what we're looking at. We got the flipping chicken, looks great. It's the color, but these armadillo eggs, man, they look good. There's a couple that kind of split open. That one, that one didn't have quite enough. Uh, meat on it might have been a bigger popper when I was running out of meat but it still looks amazing even with a couple of ugly ducklings um, we're just gonna keep looking at them give this some more time and let them cook we go back to Tuesday night hang out live back in the house and look at this little rat dog taster tank snooping on me on the smoker look at this guy Well, it's been another half hour. Um, they look even better. Um, we're gonna get the thermometer out in a second and check our chicken. But man, these armadillo eggs, I swear. They are gonna be the best cheap day thing ever. Some people like to uh, base them with barbecue sauce and let them get kind of sticky caramelized. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go straight meat and jalapeno popper. But uh, we're gonna check our chicken, see where it's at, and go from there. Of course, you know who this is. And look where he's at. Taser Tank, right by the smoker. Cause this is his favorite spot in the backyard. Cause he has his little bed over there too. But uh, he keeps snooping at the smoker, so it should be close. We're gonna check our temps. Well, it's been, I'd say about two and a half hours. And man, these look good. Our chicken's done. We're gonna go head off to uh, go visit my Reno buddies at work. And we're gonna have some uh, barbecue dinner. Check back in when we give these bad boys a taste. Well, it is a lot later than uh, when we finished making our armadillo eggs and chicken. It's about midnight. My buddies, I took them to over at work. Loved them. I would have filmed there a little bit, but I can't because of I don't want any HIPAA law allegations or anything crazy like that. But anyway, they were a huge success. Um, We'll have to make them again. Um, next time, I'd, what I would do different than what I did today 
was I would do one more pound of like ground pork or more sausage, either or. Um, just have a little bit extra meat on them and that way we could do a solid 20 um, armadillo eggs for a really sweet, awesome barbecue, smoky popper snack. With that being said though, um, and if you like what you see, subscribe, share, comment, whatever. We're all, I'm also still trying to get 100 subscribers to do my first giveaway, which I will do a video posting about that when I get closer to it. But till then, have a good time and see you guys next time.